Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Carly and this is my space to talk about everything that I am working on with my current projects. Today I wanted to talk about everything that I sewed in 2022 and there will be an item from 2023 in there that I finished at the very beginning of January and one crochet top from last year as well. All right, let's get started. The first item that I made last year was the Array Dress by Paper Cut Patterns. So here it is. Um, this, actually everything that I'm showing here in this video, I started in the summertime last year. So I just got back into sewing last summer and so most of these are summer pieces. And <clears throat> everything that I mentioned today, the patterns or tutorials will be linked down in the description box below. So hopefully I can show this to you all. But here is the array dress by Paper Cut Patterns. I did size two. Um, if I were to make it again, I think I'd go down a size. It's a bit flowy and drapey, which I love, but almost too much. And I did go with the wide sleeves on this. This is made with, um, I believe it's a rayon fabric, but it is the most luxurious feeling fabric ever and it has amazing drape to it so this does have let's see built-in ties to it on the side and I just kind of wrapped it around here to give you an idea of what it looks like I'll also insert some pictures of me wearing it just so you get a better idea of what it looks like because on the hanger you can't tell too much um, the back it has a really nice middle seam just a really simple dress, but very beautiful. And the cool thing with that pattern is you can adjust it. The sleeves can be elasticated here or if, um, just open and bell like, like the ones I chose. And you can choose to do a longer dress, shorter, and there's a top version as well that I'll be showing later on. Okay, the next item on the list is, I believe they're called the Simple Shorts, and I got this pattern off of Etsy. Again, it's linked down below. I just wanted some nice lounger shorts at home, so here they are. These ones, um, to be honest, I've worn maybe once. I don't get a whole lot of wear out of them. Um, I didn't do the greatest job sewing them, I don't think, so that's why I don't really like to wear them. <clears throat> but, um, I mean, overall it was really easy, like, simple, like the pattern says. I would make them again, maybe a bit smaller, but it was a little bit deceiving, I think, just on the photos, because they looked a lot tighter, and these are definitely, like, looser, flowier shorts. But I like them, they're really cute. Um, I actually had a lot of leftover fabric from this, so I made a matching top to go with it. And this is just a self-drafted top. So there's no pattern for this one. But here it is. It looks really cute on. Um, you can wear it like sleeves down like this or up top as well. And it looks so cute <laughs> with these shorts worn together. And I've actually never worn them together out yet, but this summer, it will be my summer to wear them. And yeah, so I just did some shearing at the waist here. You can see, sorry, it's a little wrinkly too. It's been in my closet, it hasn't gotten much wear uh, in the winter months, obviously. And then I also did some shearing for uh, yeah, a cute little like puff sleeve and to make a little ruffle effect. And I don't know about you guys, but I absolutely love doing shearing with sewing. It can just add so much and you can customize so many things with it. 
and it just gives you a really nice shape, I think. And so I just did some elastic here at the sleeves and elastic up here too, so I can wear it like off the shoulder and it stays up nice. And sorry, I'm trying to show you guys the best thing. <laughs> These um, pieces in a nice way, but it's a little bit difficult. Anyway, yeah, so this is my top and shorts. A nice fun summer piece and like I said a lot of these pieces are for summer since I just got back into sewing last summer. My next piece is definitely my most worn. I get a lot of wear out of this and this is the stacker jacket by Paper Cut Patterns. Here she is. So it's a fully lined jacket. And this too was my first jacket I've ever made. So I was, I'm so proud of this, I still am. I was intimidated by it because one, it's a jacket, but not only that, it's a fully lined jacket. So I've never done lining before either. I'll put this on for you. Give you an idea of what it looks like. I could have made the sleeves a little bit longer for myself, but I generally just wear them rolled up like that and it works out fine. I did the option for these, um, these pockets, they also have like the flat pockets variation too. I chose some nice big natural wood buttons for these ones, I thought they looked cute. Yeah. Just some nice like pinkish brown um, corduroy for this. And then I did a rayon fabric for the lining. This jacket surprisingly was fairly easy to do. Um, being like not that skilled of a sewer and never doing a jacket before I found this pretty clear with the instructions. Um, I'm actually making another one for my friend, which I was supposed to give to her last fall. I haven't even started sewing yet. I've only cut out the cord for her. I'm so far behind on it, but it's coming along and we're hoping for spring. We're hoping for spring. Sewing's just, it's hard to get that motivation sometimes as I'm sure you all know, sometimes you just want to sew, 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 and other times you just lose that sewing mojo. But hers is in a nice, like, deep red, and yeah, I mean, I'm excited to sew it once I get that mojo back. I also do have a tough time doing the same pattern twice. I don't know if any of you are like that, but I kind of get bored of it easily, so... And my thoughts were, I thought, I'll make mine first and I can kind of go through the, uh, the pattern that way, see if there are any mistakes. If I make any mistakes, it'll be on mine. That was my thinking. Now I wish I did hers first because, yeah, then I, I wouldn't feel bad procrastinating if it were for myself. But, oh well, that's, that's where we're at right now. <laughs> I would actually love, even though I just said <laughs> I don't like making the same pattern twice, it would be cool to have another jacket like this, but in kind of like a thick flannel, like a, what do you call it? Um, plaid, a plaid flannel, kind of like this. Um, with longer sleeves and maybe even make the body a bit longer kind of add some variations to it. And then I could also do the flat pockets too to just like change up the pattern a little bit and make it seem like it's more different. And my next piece, the fabric will look familiar. Familiar, the fabric will look familiar. This is the leftover lining fabric from the jacket. So I did this really cute sheared dress. It just got sleeves up like that. I can put in a picture too of myself wearing it. Sleeves like that. 
it's mid length and again I just did a bunch of elastic shearing all around the top there yeah, and this is rayon so I love this fabric for summer it's really light and airy it's perfect yeah I was glad I was able to use that leftover fabric from the lining of the jacket into this dress and this was self-drafted dress using a rosary apparel tutorial on YouTube, which is linked down below. So this is a great channel, by the way, too, if you haven't seen it, a great resource for sewing, especially um, people getting back into it or beginners. She guides you on your measurements, how to measure yourself, and it's basically just four panels maybe that you cut, like four rectangles. It is so simple. It took maybe like a day to do this one last summer. It was really easy. And like any beginner could make this dress too. And self-drafted patterns, I just think are the best. You get your perfect measurements because every time I use a pattern, it just, it's always a bit oversized for me. Even when I do it according to my size. Um. Okay, and we'll show, so this item here, I have shown on a previous podcast episode of when I was showing some knitting, and I did finish this the very beginning of January 2023, however, I started it end of 2022. So, this is the array top, so the top version of the brown dress I showed, and I did the elasticated sleeves on this one. And I did go down a size as well, and it fits a lot better. And my sewing skills improved a lot from the dress to this top. So just like the hem inside is a lot cleaner, and all of the all of the hems are a lot cleaner on this one. And again, this fabric, this fabric I actually got was just leftover fabric from my Nana's old sewing closet and it was natural undyed so I dyed this with onion skin, turmeric, and some black tea I believe. I got this nice golden. Um, I am sick of the yellow already so I might over dye it. I do want to kind of try and achieve a green so we'll see when I get around to that and maybe I'll try and show you guys. When I dive that. Okay, and lastly, this isn't a sewn item, but it is an item that I made last year for my wardrobe. It is a crocheted top. It is the John Top by We Are Knitters, and I use their recycled cotton. And here she is. <laughs> this is my all-time favorite top in my wardrobe. It fits me like a glove. It fits perfectly. I love the tassels. It's, yeah, I don't know. I just, I'm obsessed with it. It is the perfect top for summer. I just wear like a black bralette over it and my high-waisted maxi skirt. And it is my favorite top of all time. I would love to make another one, although I'm just, I'm not really into crochet right now. I'm more into knitting. Last year or the year before last, I was super into crochet and now I'm kind of crocheted out at the moment. So if I ever get back into crochet, I will consider making another one of these, maybe in a more neutral color. But yeah, if you're looking for a fun summer top, definitely recommend the John Top by We Are Knitters. So those are all the items that I sewed last year for my wardrobe. Um, thanks for listening if you made it all the way through. I felt like this video was a little bit rambled. I feel out of breath and just kind of all over the place. But thank you for sticking around and watching. I've been meaning to do this video for about a week now. And I got around to it. <laughs> so... Um, yeah, hopefully you all enjoyed. Let me know in the comments what uh, your most worn item is that you sewed last year. I'd love to know. I'm always looking for 
new patterns to um, check out and to perhaps sew. I have actually been doing a lot, a lot of knitting lately, so I'm very excited for the next knitting episode to come out, maybe next week or the week after. We can do a knitting one and I can get you all up to date on some finished objects. So I have a couple of big finished objects that I'd love to show. And um, I bought some yarn, <laughs> even though I said I wasn't going to, but I did. And that's okay because I didn't have enough in my stash for a full project anymore. So I broke the rule and I bought yarn. That's okay. I'm okay with it because I did decide that I am going to make a wall hanging and weave a lot of those one skein or half skein um, yarns that I have in my stash right now that I don't want to put into any scrappy projects that are kind of like different weights and don't match anything. I thought I was going to make a fun, like funky, mix matched wall hanging. And that would be a perfect way to use everything up. And I'm happy with where my stash is at now, so I'm not feeling too bad about it. And with the buying I'm doing now, going forward, it's just a lot more intentional. I'm doing it with a purpose in mind, with a project already picked out. And I'm not just like blindly going in shopping and picking out random yarns that have no plan. So I'm feeling good about it. And I'm really, really exciting, excited about all of the knitting that I have planned for the year and that I've done so far. Um, as far as sewing goes, I did do my 2023 sewing plans. Um, I hope to get to some of those soon. The priority will be the stacker jacket for my friend once I'm feeling a little more rested and energized and um, motivated, I can get to that. And spring is the deadline for that, the start of spring, so she can get some good wear out of it for the springtime season. And yeah, that's where I'm at right now. <laughs> so thank you again for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of my projects from the last year. There wasn't too many and I'm a bit late on the whole what I made in 2022 video, but here it is. And um, yeah, please consider liking or commenting or subscribing if you enjoyed this. And hopefully I'll see you all next week with another video. Thank you, bye. Thank <music> you.